Good morning, ESM. Today's our last day of school before winter break. So, Alana, do you have any ideas what people could do over winter break? We've got a whole show full of them, but, and we'll share them right after news. An inmate who died in jail by suicide in Syracuse has been identified as a man from Clay. Paul Watkins, 38, died by suicide on Thursday night. Watkins was arrested for charge on December 9th for second degree criminal concept. He was found unresponsive in his cell and strangled himself with a bed sheet. CPR was performed on Watkins and he was pronounced dead at Krauss Hospital. The investigation is still pending. In Utica, a woman lied and bit a police officer in convent sto a convenience store at 10.15 a.m. Police responded to a woman at Oneida Street Market, 1331 Oneida Street, who was spitting and trying to attack customers and employees. Officers tried to talk to her, but she continuously lied to them. She was eventually identified as Nancy Regis, 23. She was also later found out to have many warrants for proving false information. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The wait, will, the wait room will be open Thursday, December 23rd, and Monday, December 27th, from 9 to 11 a.m. See Coach Eschbacher if you have any more questions. 14 students placed in the top three of their event to advance to the New York State DECA Career Conference. Also, 17 students advanced to the State Conference for their community service projects. Three of the students that placed at the regional event will only compete in their community service project at the States. So one of my personal favorite winter activities would be skiing. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Oh, where do you ski? I've heard there's a lot of good places around here. Yeah, I've been to a few places around here, like Song Mountain and Labrador Mountain. I've never been skiing. Any thoughts? You should definitely give it a try. Um, some others that you might want to check out would be Windham and Whiteface Mountain. Cool. Uh, so what are your plans over winter break, Atlanta? Well, I'm more of an inside person, so I was thinking I could catch up on some of the new movies. <laughs> That's smart to stay indoors. Let's move to weather to see what you'll be avoiding. Today on Wednesday is going to be pretty interesting because uh, after 9 to 10 a.m. we'll start to get scattered snow showers that should last throughout the whole day so today's going to be a pretty snowy day. And Thursday is going to have a high of 33 and a low of 25 degrees and Thursday is mainly going to be cloudy and it's going to be starting to get on the colder side before we move on to Friday where we'll pick up and be a little warmer with a high of 38 and a low of 27 degrees. And Friday, we'll have a chance for some snow around 10 p.m. So pretty good chances for some snow this week. But, that's, but with that, that's me, Grayson, with your Wednesday morning weather. So you were saying you were going to the movies? Yeah, there's been so many new releases lately that I wanted to catch up. Oh, like the new Spider-Man? Yeah, I've heard it's supposed to be really good. I've heard good things too, but don't spoil it if you watch it before me. I'll try, but TikTok's already spoiled it for me. <laughs> I've got a lot of TikToks about it too. Sports. <laughs> The number four ranked Cincinnati plays the number one ranked Alabama in the Cotton Bowl in the first round of the college football playoffs. The number three ranked Georgia plays the number two ranked Michigan in the Orange Bowl. The boys basketball team won yesterday Auburn, against Auburn 59-48. Cole Thomas led the team with 17 points. Aiden Betts put up 16 points and A.J. Graham had 15 points. The girls basketball team lost to Auburn yesterday 53-38. Angela Napolcaro led the team with 12 points. 
The girls volleyball team swept Proctor 3-0. Margaret Matting led the team in kills with seven. Autumn Stoyer led the team in blocks with four. And Morgan Ransom led the team in digs with eight. The wrestling team has a match on at tonight at 5.30 at Fulton. On Monday, the 27th, the girls and boys bowling team play at Cortland. The boys basketball team plays on the 28th and the 29th during the team's holiday tournament. On Wednesday, the 29th, the girls volleyball team has a tournament at Watertown starting at 8 a.m. On Thursday, the 30th, the boys and girls bowling team plays Baldensville at 10 a.m. And I am Luke with your sports. That's all we have for you today. So for me, Nicole, and everyone else at the morning show, have a great holiday break.